got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. You yeah, would keep. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beast. I'm from Beauty and the Beasts, and I upload it every single Tuesday and Sunday. Basically, my house is a hot mess, and this is my opinion of a hot mess because people will always be like, oh, that's not even bad. But for me, somebody who likes to be very organized and tidy, it's bad. Plus, it's just straight up dirty and needs to be cleaned. Don't worry, I'll show you all the disgusting water from my mops and all that stuff just so you can understand what I'm talking about. We are, like I said, we're pretty clean, tidy people, but with four kids, two dogs, and we've just had like so many sports and parties and things like that going on where we're just behind and we're exhausted, and now I have this time of catching up. I just had groceries delivered from Whole Foods, so first I gotta put that stuff away. I'm not gonna do a grocery haul, but you'll see stuff on screen here. I'll probably do like a lot of this as voiceover because my kids just got home from school. Um, but this was the first time that I'm able to kind of catch up. They're all playing outside right now with my husband, so I don't feel guilty getting started on all of this hot mess. Plus, I know that my kids enjoy also having a tidy home. Um, so anyway, let's get into it. I'm exhausted. I'm not motivated, but we're going to push through. We're going to do it, and you're going to get off your butt, and you're going to do it too. I'm dead right now. I was just like, why is my ear itching? And I literally forgot that Ella put this fake earring on me like over two hours ago. Wow, that just goes to show. Cute earring though. We were in bed on Pinterest and she was picking out everything for, guess what? Her fifth birthday party is gonna be, guess. If you guess unicorn, you're right. This is gonna be her third unicorn themed birthday party. That's all good, because I saved everything. All right, so now that that's all unpacked, it's finally time to put it away. I don't care what I do, it is impossible to keep the fridge organized. Like, I try my best, but especially the freezer. What about you guys? Also, do you have a method to how you do your groceries, and do you prep your produce all on the same day? Wow. 
So I always get asked about our produce since we buy a lot of produce and we just go through it like crazy. Um, for example, one pack of strawberries will be gone during one meal time. So like this dinner on this specific night, that, that one pack of strawberries was gone. So I can't really speak to like how long things are good for just because we go through it so quickly. Build something. So groceries are all mainly put away and I am going to start dinner so I'm going to show you that but I wanted to share this with you. I just tried this for the first time. It's delicious. It's the Waterloo Summer Berry. So, so if you see this you got to try it. So good. Alright so I'm starting dinner. I'm just doing um, pool of barbecue chicken in the Instant Pot. You're going to need a cup of broth. I'm using beef broth so that's all I have which is crazy because Chris always makes fun of the amount of chicken broth I keep on hand. But someone didn't add it to the grocery list. Um, so I just do that, some, what? some barbecue sauce, oh, excuse me. you're so funny, and then we're going to add in, I'm doing chicken thighs, I just feel like that shreds so much better, um, and salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, there's all kinds of recipes online, but this is just easy. And then I also like to add a little bit of Italian dressing. Um, you can also you can also use apple cider vinegar. Lord help me. All right, so you see I have my chicken thighs nice and covered. I'm gonna put the top on. Then we're just gonna pressure cook for 16 minutes. So over here, I'm gonna be making some mac and cheese for the kids to go with that. Making this, and then you can see here, we have some ground turkey going. That's gonna be taco meat. We always just keep that on hand because the kids always like it and eat it. Also, this is my fridge right now. Sometimes you have to pick and choose. Today, I had to choose to get the house in order rather than like prep everything, so that'll be for another day. <laughs> I also went to TJ Maxx today. I got these for Mother's Day baskets and I'm gonna be making little baskets out of them. I'm gonna make you Mother's Day gift baskets, but when you're seeing this is after Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all my moms out there. So I have that, I got some stuff for teacher gifts. So I gotta put all this in the office for now. Literally in the middle of making dinner and doing everything, I just had to stop and make this random little brain dump so that I could concentrate on the task at hand. If you're somebody that gets sidetracked easily or has ADD or ADHD, this is great. Just get it out of your mind and onto something so you're not like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And then of course you can always add to it.
fried chicken is in the KitchenAid mixer. It's so much easier. This is hilarious, but it's just a little mom hack. You know, I love using my tray, but tonight I'm in a rush, so you eat out of the container, whatever's left over, I just put a lid on, nothing's touching, so nobody can yell at me, and then I'll put the rolls in here. Dinner was amazing. Now back to the mess. Uh, 7.27, so I'm gonna take a break here and get kids to bed too. All right, it's 45 years later, the dishes are done, and I'm just gonna give the sink a quick little scrub, and then you'll see me put some oils down in the drain, because it's also a garbage disposal, and it's just lemon, lavender, and peppermint, and just helps keep it all nice and fresh. I also like to put that mixture in my garbage can. Alright guys, we are on day two. I don't know about you guys, but when I put my kids to bed and it's like around eight or a little bit after eight, now that they're older, they're going to bed a little bit later. I just cannot live anymore, so I wind up going to bed. So anyway, we're on day two. I am probably gonna do mostly voiceover, but I'm gonna start with cleaning the kitchen and then finish downstairs and then I'm gonna head upstairs and tackle the laundry and all of that stuff. Okay, you guys, I am literally obsessed with this thing. I know there's like a different one on Amazon and it was like back ordered for months, but I found this for about $30 at Walmart. And let me tell you, it's my dream come true because there's so many like random stuck on things to like the island and the stove. And then 
I also have like these woven chairs um, at the island so they can be hard to clean like you gotta scrub food off of them but this was amazing you see it comes with different like attachments so this one is like the scraper attachment where steam will come out of there but later you'll see I attach a brush to it and it just makes everything really really easy to clean and I just love this thing that is all So do I think that I'm going to be steam cleaning my island every day? No. However, it was really good for like an initial clean or if there's like a lot of buildup. But it's like the same feeling when you steam your floors. They just feel so good and clean on your feet. And the house just feels really clean. And then also it kills 99% of bacteria. So you know everything is getting nice and clean. So I'm going to steam clean everything first and then wipe everything down. I never got it what you had to go I guess this world's too slow for you I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold But you just want the gold And there's no way I can beat it Cause I got no chance, no chance When it comes to her She got the glitter and the fame And I, I just wasn't enough for you So now that the island is steam cleaned, I'm going to go ahead and deep clean my cooktop over here. I'm going to be using the pink stuff and then I'm also going to steam a little bit of it. And then I always just wipe everything down with thieves when I'm done. That's just like my process. Plus whenever I use the pink stuff, there's like white residue in some spot. I don't know if that's just my bad or what, but I like my little method here. Also, if the steam cleaner feels extra, just know, literally all you do is add water, plug it in, and it made cleaning the cooktop and all like the crusted on food so easy to clean, so a thousand percent worth it. You're like, why is she opening up the window? Why is she opening up the blinds? And why is she adding oil to the diffuser when she was in the middle of cleaning? Because this is my brain, you guys. <laughs> but anyway, I was done steam cleaning and I'm like, you know, I need some more sunlight in here. Open up the blinds and I was like, wait, I also want it to smell good. So just put some oils in the diffuser as well. And then I got this lavender yesterday in my Whole Foods order, not realizing it was dried lavender. So I put it in and I'm like, wait, first of all, it's got lavender everywhere. And second of all, the water was green in like three seconds after that, so I emptied the water, dried it out, and then just left the dried lavender in there. It smells really good, but I'll probably put some fresh flowers in there um, with my next grocery trip.
Always takes too long, yeah, too long. I ain't got all weekend. We had a good run, yeah, a good run. But the clock is ticking. I gotta move on, yeah, move on. I got things to do all without you. That is so beautifully clean and now it's finally time to tackle these chairs. Before I found out about the steamer and like how good it worked, I was planning on like power washing these or something. So I'm so glad that this worked out and just being 100% honest, I probably worked on these chairs for at least 30 minutes and I probably could have gone longer, but they actually feel like brand new chairs. So again, way overly excited about this steamer, but also just so happy like how well it cleaned these chairs. Another random Tiffany getting sidetracked. I just had to get rid of these tulips. I'm so over them. I had them like since before Easter and I'm just like, I, I need to not see these tulips anymore. I get like that like with decor sometimes. So yep, yeah, that's why I just randomly went over to the tulips. <laughs>
So before I go ahead and put the chairs back, I'm just wiping down the island with the thieves spray, like I said, and then I'll put everything back where it belongs. Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh above the irony of everything I like the way you think and I don't really care about the music on the dance Another drink and I'll go anywhere The way you smile Like a flash in the universe Moving on to the living room One of the main reasons that I got this couch Was that the cushion covers were removable The back is like um, Full of like stuffing basically So I'm looking I'm like wait It's stuffing in here um, So I'm just putting those down And I can shampoo those I have in the past But the actual like couch cushions I wanted to throw in the washer so you'll see me do that and they came out so good it feels like we have a new couch everything was just nice and clean I swear it's like three colors lighter too so that's what I'm doing just taking those off while the kids you know have basically like a trampoline park on it throwing them in the washer I think I just used warm water and then I hung them to dry so that is what I'm doing right now I had to vacuum all the crumbs out and then I was really happy um, to have all that done before my hair appointment so I was editing this video at my hair appointment. Chris is putting the cushions back on and Rylan just cracks me up because she's 1000% unbothered just relaxing and living life. All right, the kids are asleep and it's just crazy like how the day gets away from you. I still didn't get to touch the laundry yet, but this is real life with four kids. Um, so now I'm just putting these covers back on these pillows now that they're nice and dry, vacuuming and then wiping down the mantle.
so over on the fireplace i found like a giant like i say giant but it had huge wings some type of insect and it was like dried out and dead so i wasn't afraid of it so i just went ahead and handed that to chris This table is always disgusting. I have to clean it all the time, whether it's food or just like markers and stuff. But I know as a mom, this is one of those things that I'm going to miss when they're older and they outgrow this table. So I, that is how I look at motherhood. I look at everything as a piece of gratitude when I'm like, oh, I have to clean this, but then I'm like, oh, I'm going to miss cleaning this. I feel like it's just like a helpful mindset and it just helps you like take it all in. It is the next evening. Luckily, Chris took care of the boys' room. He put their clothes away and just like made their beds and stuff. And I am putting the girls' clothes away and also like decluttering a ton because there's so much in there that they don't wear. And then I also took out like their winter clothes and put them in the guest room closet just in case there's like a random cold day. We cannot trust this weather anymore. Um, but they needed space in their drawers and there's some stuff that just didn't fit them anymore. So I wound up having like an entire garbage bag full of clothes that we donated.
never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever the last thing that we're doing is working on the playroom. I need a day like without the kids to just come in here and declutter because we're to that point in our playroom, I'm sure every mom can relate, where there's just like random pieces of toys and like things that don't even go together. And at this point, when the playroom is like over cluttered like this, the kids don't play as nice. Here's Ella, my little ham and cheese sandwich, I would call her, but definitely need to add that. And then I don't know if you remember in one of my last cleaning videos, I shampooed this carpet and it came nice and clean but it still smells because one of the dogs peed in here and we've done like everything that we can so I feel like we're gonna have to get rid of this carpet and I'm so sad because I love this rug but I don't know if you have any tips on how to get that smell out let me know but it's just I can still smell it I have like very sensitive smell so it's just such a bummer um we're looking at this like thing that keeps dogs out of certain rooms but we're trying to keep them out of the playroom I don't know why one of them just must have peed in here and now it's like a thing and it's awful. I can see everything clearer. And then last but not least, we are mopping. Chris gave me a high five. I was looking to motivate me to mop, which was hilarious because he knew how tired I was. Um, so anyway, I'm just mopping. I This is like my favorite tour though. I love it because you see how absolutely disgusting the water is. So it's very satisfying. And plus your feet just feel really good on the floor. And yeah, I love this thing. Yesterday, they had a $100 off coupon on Amazon. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but I will link all my cleaning stuff down below. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on Sunday. I hope you have an amazing week.